you know, maybe you become conditioned. You bought into the idea of the peaceful life. You built the house, you got the kids, you got the job, and in the evening time you got the dinner, the fireplace going, and a couple of cocktails, you go to bed and everything's good. And you go to church on Sunday. And the peaceful life, it's a lie. You've got to be a dangerous man to keep the peaceful life. Because what's going to happen is outside influences, people you have babies with, they don't like you. Maybe they have some control. They're going to attack you anonymously through DHS. The government's going to come at you with the IRS and say this and that. Make you fold out thousands of papers and receipts because hell, you're just trying to make a living. And better yet, people with inside your organization that enjoy that life, they're going to conflict and conspire and try to take what you have. The peaceful life is a bullshit concept. What makes a peaceful life is a dangerous motherfucker. A sub bitch that trains in the Bible, that gets up early in the morning, that reads and educates himself, that stays clear of the hard drugs, that goes to the gym, and builds himself up every day for excellence. Because I bet you this, if you're living a peaceful life right now, it's going to come under attack. And that's okay. Because what I'm affording you today is the truth and reality. That the only thing that can offset that idea is a dangerous man or woman. A bitch that's prepared. That's got their shit in order. And has the trust of God. And the full authority to carry it through. Think about it. Don't buy into Mirage. That everything's okay. Because it'll soon end and you'll be challenged. And I want you to answer the challenge. God bless you from Arkansas. Fluid English.